The Wallaby Who Lost His Bounce Once upon a time in the lush green meadows of Australia, there lived a playful and energetic wallaby named Wally. Wally was known throughout the land for his incredible bouncing abilities. He would hop and skip with great pleasure, bringing joy to everyone he met. But one day, something unexpected happened that changed Wally's life forever. It was a sunny morning when Wally woke up feeling rather strange. As he attempted to take his first bounce of the day, he realised something was terribly wrong. He couldn't bounce as high as he used to. In fact, he couldn't even jump off the ground. Wally was devastated and worried. What happened to my bounce? He wondered, his eyes filled with sadness. Determined to find a solution, Wally decided to seek help from his wise and kind friend, Kookaburra. With a heavy heart, Wally hopped his way through the meadow to Kookaburra's tree. When he arrived, he found Kookaburra perched on a branch, his feathers shining in the sunlight. Kookaburra, something terrible has happened to me, Wally cried, tears welling up in his eyes. I've lost my bounce and I don't know why. Kookaburra looked at Wally with a sympathetic smile and said, Don't worry, my dear friend, let's figure this out together. Sometimes when we face challenges, all we need is a little help from our friends. Kookaburra and Wally brainstormed different ideas, hoping to restore Wally's bounce. They tried everything from eating special leaves to practicing different hopping techniques, but no matter what they tried, Wally's bounce remained elusive. Just as Wally was about to give up hope, a tiny, brightly coloured butterfly named Bella fluttered by. She had been listening to their conversation and was determined to help Wally find his bounce. Bella suggested they visit the ancient and wise tortoise Olaf, who had, been, who had seen many wonders of the world. They travelled together through forests and other rivers until they found Olaf resting near a peaceful pond. Olaf listened attentively to Wally's story and pondered for a moment. Then with a twinkle in his ancient eyes, he said, Wally, my friend, your bounce isn't lost. It's inside you all along. Sometimes we just need a little patience and a gentle reminder of who we truly are. Olaf encouraged Wally to take a deep breath, close his eyes and remember the joy and excitement he felt when he used to bounce freely. As Wally did, so a warmth spread through his body. He could feel his energy returning. With a renewed sense of determination, Wally opened his eyes, took a leap, and to his surprise, he soared into the air, higher than he had ever bounced before. His friends cheered and clapped with joy. From that day forward, Wally embraced his newfound bounce with gratitude and appreciation. He continued to bring happiness to everyone he met, reminding them that sometimes all we need is a little reminder to find the joy within ourselves. And so the story of Wally the Wallaby, who temporarily lost his bounce, spread far and wide, inspiring children and animals alike to never give up, even when faced with challenges. And they all lived happily ever after, bouncing through life with joy in their hearts.